Hey there folks, in today's video I'm going to be reviewing and demonstrating for you this Caterpillar all-in-one jack stand. Now if you're not familiar with all-in-one jack stands, it takes a traditional jack stand and combines it with a bottle jack and there's a bracket here at the top that bolts the two together and a nice base that keeps it all together at the bottom. Now if you're using a regular jack with a regular traditional axle stand, you'd have to first jack up your vehicle, then get out your axle stand, lift it up, lock it into place, then lower your jack. This combines it all into one unit, makes it nice and easy. So we're gonna go ahead and get started and jack up the vehicle and show you a little bit about it and talk a little more in detail about it. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is show you how to jack up the vehicle. You can just use this flat metal surface if you're gonna jack it up on the frame of the vehicle. However, if you prefer to jack it up on the pinch weld of the vehicle, then it comes with this pinch weld adapter. We're just going to slide that on because that's how we're gonna jack it up. It's a little easier to show you how on the pinch weld. Then you're going to choose the pinch weld that you want to jack up on. Make sure that your valve is closed. And just like a normal bottle jack, you just start pumping it up. And this handle here is the safety lock. You'll see once it goes up a little bit, it'll actually drop into place and automatically lock. All right, so now once that locks into place where you want it to be and you've decided your vehicle is high up enough, you're going to release your valve here, nice and slow. And that's going to automatically drop it right into place. Just close your valve back up and you're good to go. And get another one on the other side of the vehicle to make it equal. That's nice and safe now, it's not going anywhere. Now, it has instructions here, but I'm just gonna quickly show you when you're ready to drop the whole jack down to get it out from under the vehicle. Again, make sure your valve is closed. You're gonna give it three to four big pumps. Just until you can lift that piece right up there. Then you're going to slowly drop it down. And that's all there is to that. So we're gonna take it to the back of the vehicle and just show you a little closer up of the other features it has. All right, so another couple of features we're gonna show you about. This pinch weld adapter that we showed you, it was actually resting on this part of the frame when I opened up the packaging. Not sure if that's its intended position, but it does hold it kind of nicely so you don't lose it during storage. It also has a nice easy pull pin to give you more extension with this bar here. Now at its lowest point, it is at 11 inches extension and maximum extension is about 21 to 22 inches so to achieve that you would pop your pin in the maximum height position here and then you would jack the bottle jack up to its maximum extension and then rest the vehicle down on it as i showed you in the beginning of this video when you bring the jack back down and you're ready to store it just goes nicely just like that now the other thing i do like is the comfort grip this is a lot easier to jack up than other jacks of its rating. Other four ton jacks, you have to put a lot of force. This one is actually quite easy to do. So the other thing I like, if you look at your traditional axle stand here, the feet are triangular here. Now on very hot days, if I'm working for half an hour, 45 minutes or even more, it'll actually start piercing the concrete in my driveway because it's extremely pressured onto these four points whereas if you look at the bottom of this one it's a solid steel flat design so the weight will be distributed a lot better and it won't damage your driveway so obviously the other benefits you can actually get rid of your old jack stands and your jack because it combines it into all one unit so i just grabbed a couple of them so you can jack it up on each side that's all there is to it i put it on the floor in my vehicle it stores nice and easily. The other thing that I will mention, if I jack this up, I've had a bottle jack before, multiple bottle jacks I've experienced. If you are ready to put the jack back down, when you release your valve, it'll drop with the weight of the vehicle, but then as you can see with no weight on it, 
it won't go anywhere. Previous jacks I've had, you've had to actually stand on it, put your full weight. However, this, you can actually just do with your hands, nice and simple, lock it back up and you're good to go. So that's all there really is to this one, folks. I'll put a link in the description for this. Now, if you're not wanting to get a Caterpillar one, the other ones out there are quite similar. Some of them, however, don't have the pinch weld adapter, but most of the time they are fairly similar design. So this will give you an idea of how to use it. Hopefully you found this helpful. And as always, please don't forget to like and subscribe.